Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica Rovira. We are here today to do a reading for you, love mates, soulmates, twin flames, whatever you want to call it. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to attempt a quickie today because I have to skedaddle. So here goes to really trying out this whole, you know, quick tarot reading type of thing. So I'm going to skip an introduction. Like I said, my name is Beloved J. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. If you're returning, thank you so much for your love and support as always. Um, let's get started with the singing bowls. So if you want to lower the volume down or take your headphones out for the moment, it might get a little bit loud. Okay. So close your eyes and take a deep breath. going to go ahead and get started. I'm just going to pull all the cards out and oh, <clears throat> prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. I love seeing that. Um, already we see that there is good news coming in. It could be in relation to um, material prosperity. It could be um, prosperity in love it could be all kinds of things baby steps action follow your intuition before it makes sense all right prosperity lies ahead follow your intuition before it makes sense <clears throat> so spirit saying like you know i got your back there you will you just follow your intuition. I feel like you you know that you've been working really hard and diligently towards something, whether it be job, career, uh, financials, um, <clears throat> a partnership, whatever it is that you're working hard towards. Um, you've been working really hard and maybe there's a sense and feeling like you're not ready or... <laughs> And um, Spirit is saying, take the jump, take, take the leap. It, your intuition is pointing you in the, right, in the right direction. Know that prosperity is yours. I think I need to take one more from this deck. Um, <clears throat> vision of unity. Focus on the light. Right to see. Releasing illusion. Penial activation. You know, spirit is telling you to take action, whether you know <clears throat> or see the outcome or, you know, taking the leap. I see. <laughs> wow. My God. I love this card and I love seeing it here in this spread. Um, my loves, it looks like. Whoever is the <clears throat> masculine, whether it's a female or a male, doesn't really matter. But whoever's holding the fact, the, or whoever is predominantly um, standing in the masculine energy, right? Because we all have both. Um, I feel like is literally awakening into this new consciousness, the, the new healthy man consciousness. Um, <clears throat> this is, you know, I think that you guys are both awakening to who you are and you're both having this DNA activation, but I think specifically your man was here with the, the new man card that came out. Look at that. Look how beautiful this card is. Maybe, um, some of you are dealing with a new father or mother, uh, maybe you just had a child or maybe you're looking to or maybe you just found out you're pregnant or your person's pregnant um <clears throat> this is the enlightened masculine this is 
uh, there is definitely potential here for your divine masculine to become or is already becoming or is already in the <clears throat> the DNA activation of the enlightened masculine, right? So this is part of the new earth codes that are coming in for all of us is being in these new blueprints of the healthy divine feminine and the healthy divine masculine. Um, I think there is an overall message to believe in yourself and to believe in this connection because um, spirit is is guiding you towards this new awakening to this new earth to this new potential <clears throat> and yeah all right I'm gonna put it like this let's go this is looking quite beautiful so there's just you know action needs to be taken you need to follow your intuition you need to stop uh there's there, there's a sense of of needing to stop making sense of what's in front of you in order to make a move right it's like that's not it's not necessary here okay um it's quite interesting how um oh by the way i literally tried super hard I really tried super hard. I'm not feeling this card at all. I really tried super hard to um, get this read out yesterday. And um, first of all, it took me all day. I, I didn't actually sit down till like probably one o'clock in the afternoon to get it out. And then when I finally did get it out and did the whole hour um, read, I went to go watch it afterwards and realized that it was in time lapse. So there it stayed. And it was like yesterday, it just was, there was some major interference. But the reason why I said that and brought that up was because there's a couple of these cards here now that are, um, that were in the spread yesterday, like this vision of unity card was in the exact same spot in the center <laughs> and it came out and um this is the pineal activation this is the 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 light code activation the dna activation that is happening right now in um <clears throat> in this connection you know like i said your divine masculine is being awakened right now you are being awakened uh, the masculine is being guided to let something go. It could be the mask that they're wearing. So this was the other card that came out yesterday. See, this person is wearing a mask. Now, what's great about this card is that it came out in the upright, which means they're in the light attributes of the fool and not in the shadow attributes of the fool. But I feel like in the past, in the either recent past or, you know, for some of you, maybe you're still dealing with this person wearing a mask. Um, the mask is gonna come off. As you can see, this person portrays with the mask that they are happy and joyful. And so maybe I feel like your divine masculine was also in that energy of pretending, um, you know, that everything's good, that they're, you know, this is somebody who is pretending that, you know, it's like playing, playing it cool. But behind the mask, look, this person is crying. So this person is either grieving a loss or you know just not feeling so good about themselves or um yeah in that it, it the there's a wounded inner child behind that mask but the mask is coming off which is beautiful and, and this is what you know i love seeing the new man <clears throat> the new man enlightened masculine potential new earth card because it is showing us the potential, um, not the potential, what is coming, right? Your, your divine masculine is letting go of their mask. They're letting go of that need to pretend and hold back their feelings. So this is somebody who is used to using humor, right? To kind of uh, um, maybe subconsciously wound another person. Um, rather than like 
using the emotions to help liberate another person. This is somebody who is in denial of their emotional truth. This is someone who was in those energies in the past and is ready to take their mask off and be and, and now wanting to fearlessly reveal their emotions. And um, so now this person might be like the class clown, um, right? The jokester, the class clown, who's always wanting to now help people like laugh and uh, laugh at absurdity and, hypocr and hypocrisy. So like, you know, making jokes, sarcasms and things like that. Um, okay, so this card wants to come out. The Eight of Swords. So like I said, uh, this person wearing a mask, this is your divine counterpart. And I believe that this is the divine masculine. So if the divine masculine is watching, then this is you. Um, these two cups, I mean, these two cards wanted to come out and they wanted to come out together for you, for the divine masculine who's on my left side or whoever it is that's resonating with this left side. This is the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Cups. There is... I feel like your own mental, um, this is about being in fear, right? Like it's like this person, you feel, this person feels blinded and it's because they're wearing a mask, right? So like, how can you really truly see your person and how can your person really truly see you if you're wearing a mask, right? So I feel like this is the energies that your person was in or are in and they are going to be moving out of this. But as you can see, this person has a knife or a sword in their hand that is underneath the bondage that is keeping them stuck. And they can easily like cut that cord, but they don't. So it's like this person is keeping themselves stuck in fear for whatever reasons. It could be just past ancestral karma it could be you know past life behaviors it could be this life behaviors you know having gone through some kind of um a, a situation or relationship that really just you know wasn't the best um but this person is also building castles in the sky you see all the different cups there's like uh, i feel like this i'm gonna i'm gonna have to go one more this person is like you know either looking at their options or they're building castles in the sky like creating fantasies you know um and so not really seeing you and not really showing their true self right so it's like this person is there's a there's a little bit of a fantasy vibe over here um but someone who's just like, I, I, it's like they're stuck in their head, okay? I just want one more card. They're, this person's stuck in their head. Okay, I just want to clarify. Okay, yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> it's like this person is stuck in their head creating fantasies but what they really want they see you as the one and they really want to bring this um this new offer this ace of pentacles it's like they have this pentacle to offer they want to offer you something like uh this is a solid offer to grow something together a project a career work together um live together commit um and, and the only reason why i say that is because this is the empress you know this is your divine masculine right your divine masculine your enlightened divine masculine not your wounded divine masculine wanting to bring in an offer to your divine feminine towards the divine feminine because they see you are the one and maybe they possibly like i said maybe you either <clears throat> just had a child 
or maybe you just found out you're pregnant or maybe this person sees you as the mother or the father of their children right and so they see you as being that one and only person but it's something it's like they've got a heavy load that they're carrying and i think that it's the fact that this person hasn't expressed to you we're going to find out more but this person has not expressed to you um that they even see you this way and i think you know there needs to be more clarity here and maybe your person does have options and that's what's um you know the ten of wands it's like burdening them like how do i mm. we're gonna i'm gonna clarify those more but yeah i just think it's them being stuck in their head because they're you know, they're possibly spreading their energy too thin too many projects too many people too many things right and so they can, they want to give you this solid offer but because they have all this shit in their hands they can't and i think that that's what's kind of burdening them all right so you in the awakening state um it says stag spirit take the lead but it's in the protection um message so maybe there's hmm maybe you're like stuck like i don't want to take the lead um <laughs> but you're being asked by spirit to be compassionate there's something obviously here that um you are holding space for this person because if this person can't show up without their mask um and you see that i believe that you are you know really standing in your ground and well, I, I feel like there's a part of you that is kind of being a little stubborn, you know, digging your heels into the ground and you're not taking the lead in this situation and spirit is telling you that you need to show compassion. So, uh, and I don't mean, you know, maybe taking the lead means just stepping back, right? And allowing this person to get their shit together and figure it out and not put so much pressure or um, expect anything from this person, right? Because this person is still in the process of wearing a mask and they need to um, have this activation on their own. They need to be you, you guys both need to believe in this connection, but they need to believe in themselves and you need to believe in them too. And I think that that's what this uh, showing, you know, it says inspires you to put compassion into action. Like, are you being compassionate with this person or are you judging this person for wearing a mask because you see that they're wearing a mask? Now, it, you don't know why this person is wearing a mask. Maybe there's a good reason behind behind it. And maybe they just haven't mustered up the courage to come and tell you. But I believe that it is happening because this is an enlightened masculine is coming through here. I think that you need to focus more on who you are and what you're here to do because there's a sense um, like are you holding on to a fantasy are you holding on to like this fantasy of happily ever after we're gonna look into it a little deeper are you holding on to this fantasy of happily ever after because um, maybe that needs to let go, be let go of, because here's the tower. <laughs> it's almost like there's this belief of this happily ever after fantasy. Are you guys both fantasizing over each other about like this, like legit, like, uh, like fairy tale? And it's like, spirit is like, um, going to step in and, and create some kind of separation, create some kind of destruction because spirit's like, wake up. It's time for you to awaken to your truth. Get out of fantasy land. What are you doing? It's time for you to take the lead. Spirit is asking you to show compassion to this person and maybe that's what needs to happen in order for you to take the lead in this connection. You know, if this person is wearing a mask and you see through that mask, you can teach this person, hey, listen, it's 
you're that mask with me it's not needed i see you for who you really are and so you showing compassion to this person might actually help this person soften up enough to want to be vulnerable and take the mask off because this is clearly the 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 feel of this card is this person underneath is a vulnerable person and maybe they're not used to being vulnerable right so it that could be in itself something that burdens them right having to feel this vulnerability um and spirit is just saying hey maybe you just show a little bit of compassion you know don't get so uh judgmental and upset about this person wearing a mask because it's coming off and they're and they really want to be that enlightened masculine they just maybe need a little bit of your compassion and guidance right Ooh, all right so we're going to look at the light attributes, what's illuminating the, the, what's being illuminated in the masculine light attributes. And then we're going to go into shadow and then I'm going to do the same for you. And then we're going to close out because I got to go. I mean, prosperity lies ahead. We've already seen, um, what's being illuminated is that this person is in toxic behaviors. They're in codependencies maybe even addictions, um, whatever. It could be just, you know, like really um, indulging in pleasure, indulging in your desires. You know, maybe this person is just like, is is indulging themselves in the pleasures of life and, and that could, that could be the mask that they're wearing, right? Is that... Um, really deep down what they want is partnership, marriage, commitment, solid foundations. But the mask that they're wearing is that, oh, I just want to be this, um, you know, pleasurable, toxic, masculine, right? That's the old mask. This is the mask that the, that's coming off, is that toxic, wounded masculine. And because underneath, like we said, they're vulnerable, and they want to be the enlightened man. And they are becoming the enlightened man. And this is the 1111 card, sometimes called the twin flame card, the four of wands. It's about partnership. It's about solidity, solid foundations, building things together. Long-term commitments, you know, doesn't have to be marriage, but this is about a celebration. You know, celebrating this thing that we've created together. Um, and then I'm going to do the light for you and then we'll go into the shadows. Strength and the star. Okay. Are you losing hope? My divine feminines over here, or whoever's resonating on the right side, are you starting to lose hope? Because this right here is telling you to have courage and remain hopeful because the stars are aligning in your favor. Fortune favors the bold. This situation here is an eternal love. This is about learning how to tame the beast within that inner voice that tells you, I want to fight against this person. That's also the divine feminine, wounded divine feminine, right? That person that that you wanting to be angry and 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 um yeah. Look at that. I'm sorry, a couple things were coming in for, for over here. If your lioness or lion is your beast inside of you when something happens, if your beast is triggered and goes into full blown like, I wanna tear you apart mode, that means that there's a wounded inner child, a wounded inner lamb, right? Like little innocent lamb, the wounded inner child is wounded. And so your, your lion, your beast is feeling the need to really uh, protect it. So going in to heal the inner child, um, know who you are at the deepest core of your level, of your layers, of yourself, of your, you know, of your true self here. Look at that. We've got a king of pentacles and the queen of swords. Okay. The queen of swords can be very, I feel like there's very much Aquarius vibes over here. The queen of swords and the, and the star card, um, but also heavy Leo, um, and Capricorn. 
with this, uh, the devil and the king of pentacles. Um, something needs to be reborn here. And um, what the action that needs to be taken, oh, look at this, Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. There's a lack of self-love here, okay? This is the shadow. There's a lack of self-love here, which I think comes from this maybe toxic energy of um, I'm not good enough, right? Uh, I don't have much to give. There's this aspect of, you know, maybe I don't have enough to give. I'm not good enough. I'm not whatever, fill in the blank, right? I'm not strong enough. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not successful enough. I'm not rich enough. There's so many things here. Um, spirit is telling you to let that shit go. Let that die. That, that needs to be torn down. This is the shadow. This is what's lurking in the shadow is that that needs to come to a death, this devil energy, right? Um, your person not feeling like they are successful enough, you not feeling like you are um, strong enough, smart enough. It's like, I just feel like whoever's on the right side has a tendency to be quite cold, very cold and cutting and um spirit is asking you to surrender that to let that go okay so um and 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 both of you to love yourself because there is love here there is love here that wants to come through but as long as you guys are in this split energy right your splintered energy which um <clears throat> too many options unfocused energy multitasking you need to decide what you really want It's time to let go of these past toxic behaviors, the past devil energy, that devil bond, you know, that manipulation. It's time to let go of that. It's time to let go of this past heartbreak, broken trust. It's time to move forward. Death and the devil together. We need to rise above that drama, those obstacles, the pettiness. Find the strength to rise above all that BS. Because you guys have, you had an Ace of Cups, an Ace of Pentacles. I mean, there's the Star, the Strength card. There's a lot of beautiful cards here. Um, prosperity lies ahead. Maybe something will come in the fall, but it's time for you to understand and 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 find out who you truly are. Okay, those are the lessons. Understanding yourself, looking to your inner knowledge, um, finding the lesson in this situation, self discovery compassion, letting go, taking the lead, whatever that means for you, whether it means taking the lead and staying patient and in, in non-action or taking action. You know, somebody needs to take action. Somebody needs to um, stand in their power, be in their energies, but blessings are coming. This connection is protected. Um, Soon you will get all the attention, love, and love that you need. You're, um, I think that in the moment there is a separation. There might be no contact. You guys are probably contacting through the 5D and dreams. Maybe even having nightmares. So if that's happening, work with your heart chakra. Wear green stones, pink stones. Drink green juices. Um, do some heart opening postures, yoga postures. Some heart opening meditations. All right, I think that's it. Um, there's an offer coming. Like I said, gesture, engagement, wedding, rejoicing in your union. Something is coming. And uh, there's just an op that, you know, it, 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 there's some obstacles in play that you need to find what these obstacles are teaching you and remain hopeful. The stars are aligning. Spirit is working on this. Your person, your divine masculine is stepping in to their enlightened masculine. So there's no need to um, get angry or push them away or get frustrated with them. It's happening, my divine feminines. So it says, I can decide today to recalibrate my energy and commit to love and joy. Yes, decide right now. I commit to love and joy. 
I am patient. Somebody is freaking pregnant. Somebody that's watching is pregnant or is about to get pregnant or literally. I am patient. I'm going to show you. <laughs> I am patient knowing that whatever is of the good, of the highest good is coming to me. So two pregnant women in this card. I thought there was another one, but I guess that's, that's it. Anyways, that's enough for me to, to know that, um, oh, 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 and then this one with the baby, with the brand new baby here. Um, and even the king of pentacles, this is, you know, can sometimes be a father. So, uh, very interesting read. That was my quickie. I hope it helped and sending you all love and light until next time.